The tile thumbnail script creates thumbnails from a video and tiles them into an image. Run the tile thumbnail script with the dash I option in the path to the video file. And the dash S option is used to specify the point in the video at which to create the first frame from. For example, you might have a video that says stream about to start and you'd want to create a screenshot of that. So you'd use the dash S option to specify a point in the video after that slide is finished at which to start creating the frames from. The dash W option is used to specify the width of the thumbnails to create. And the dash T option is used to specify the layout of the tiles, for example, 4x4, 4x3, etc. The dash P option is used to specify the padding. And the dash M option is used to specify the margin. And then the dash C option is used to specify the color, which you can find by running the tile thumbnail script with the dash S option which will give you a link to the FFmpeg page of all the colors that you can use. And the dash O option is used to specify the out file name. You can batch process videos and create thumbnails and tile them into an image using the tile thumbnail script and the find command. In this example, we'll use the find command to find all the MP4 files in the current directory and then run the tile thumbnail script to create thumbnails and tile them into an image for each of the videos. If I list the files in the current directory, you'll see I have a copy of Big Buck Bunny that I'm going to process. I'll run the tile thumbnail script with a dash H option to display the help and all the options that we can use and which options are the defaults. I'll then run the tile thumbnail script with the dash I option and the path to the big buck bunny file with no other options um, to show you what the default output will be.